Nachilala. We're here with the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development on our end. And as you are with the One Campaign, we would like to know from what you, what you heard there, what could donors do better to promote the goals that everybody's talking about there all the time um, in terms of positive developments for Africa, agricultural development? Thank you very much. I think a lot of what has come out from this conference is, is the great potential there is for more um, regional trade between Africa. I think some of the findings that have been presented today uh, from the RISAC ATO report for 2014 show that there's a positive upward trend in terms of Africa's contributions to global trade, but also to inter-African trade. So in terms of what donors can really do to support the discussions that are here, I think there are two critical concerns. One, um, it's really about increasing the capacity of smallholder farmers to be able to produce the kinds of volumes um, that enable them to produce at scale and reduce the cost of production. But then also there's a other challenge where they need to be produ producing uh, with an orientation to the customer, with a good understanding of what the customer preferences are. I think there's a lot of uh, need that has been identified to put more investments into infrastructure, right? And infrastructure has been uh, identified as a catalyst, not only for production, but for supporting trade facilitation. So when you talk about infrastructure, it's really things around ensuring that countries have uh, the storage type of infrastructure that is needed to, 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 to store the excess production that could actually be traded. It's infrastructure that's related to roads that can connect producers to markets. It's infrastructure that's um, connected to actually borders and really facilitating speedy movement of goods and people across uh, the African borders. So I think there's scope for donors to be, to be helpful by really being more responsive to what is needed by African private sector and helping the African private sector to come up, but also in particular look at the unique needs of smallholder farmers. There's a lot of talk about beyond aid when it comes to donors. Um, do you have an opinion about that? Because what you, what you were just talking about is just basically going along the same lines. Do you have an opinion about how the whole interaction between donors, the whole setup could be changed to the better for the beneficiaries? I think what is happening now, the new context, is that demographically um, things are changing in Africa and with the population increasing uh, and, and posed to actually uh, double in 2050, Africa is seen more not as a destination for traditional aid, but as a, as a, as a region where uh, economic opportunity could actually be unleashed. And uh, when you look at the numbers in terms of trade uh, between Africa and the rest of the world, um, you find that uh, Africa is trading more and more with its non-traditional partners, such as Asia and, 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 and such as South America. So what does that say? Those are regions that have not had a traditionally sort of aid relationship with Africa. So it means that for um, European aid to, me, to be more relevant to Africa, it needs to transform itself. It needs to be able to be in a position where it's supporting public policies and programs that are actually um, supporting the stimulation of, of enterprise, supporting entrepreneurs to be more effective in what they're doing. And uh, I mean, examples of those kinds of things include things like supporting a government be able to have a robust extension system that will enable farmers to better manage their crop production, supporting um, uh, 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 you know, pub public sectors in Africa to, to have, to accelerate the build up of the infrastructure that's actually needed for, uh, for supporting production and, and, and trading activities. So it's really an era of beyond aid and um, any aid that comes could be more catalytic. Yes, there's humanitarian aid, which is still relevant, maybe in its traditional form. Ebola has track. You know, we need to respond. We need to get down people, equipment, and money to solve the problem. But if we're looking at really uh, Europe positioning itself as part of a prosperous and emerging continent, it's very important that actually it looks at uh, as Africa and the opportunity that it provides. Thank you very much.